Hello, this is Morlin from Morlin.tv and uh, today I decided to do a quick video on a topic that I get asked a lot regarding jailbreaking your iPhone as well as simply upgrading your iPhone from one firmware to another firmware version. Uh, people are concerned about their data in terms of applications they buy from the iTunes App Store and uh, applications that they uh, actually install via Cydia and install that app with jailbroken iPhones. The question is a reoccurring theme so I figured I'd address it. People are concerned that they have to reinstall or rebuy a lot of apps. So let me just go through the two scenarios. First for unjailbroken iPhones. If you're simply using the iTunes App Store and you're buying apps, um, one thing you should be doing is synchronizing with iTunes which will back up your iPhone. Uh, if you don't see this process happen then you need to adjust your settings so that it does happen. By backing up your iPhone what it allows you to do is that when you upgrade for example going from 2.2 to 2.2.1 it allows you to restore those applications you bought from the iTunes App Store and all of your settings, all your contacts um, all of your songs uh, all, all of your pictures everything that's on your iPhone pertinent information that's on your iPhone is generally backed up through iTunes and is restored as you upgrade now even if you have to do a restore if uh, things break or if you just uh, if you messed up jailbreaking or whatever and you need to restore most times that data is not restored immediately when you restore but when you perform your first sync or when you perform your, um, I believe it's when you initially connect the iPhone after it's restored, it's going to prompt you, hey, do you want to restore this iPhone from the latest backup? And if you say yes, it'll restore it and everything will be gravy. So that's the first scenario. So generally, yes, you're going to have your, your iTunes App Store apps backed up and restored between updates. Um, for jailbroken iPhones, it's a little bit different. Cydia applications are not backed up with iTunes in a sense. Uh, if you jailbreak your iPhone and you, for example, here's the scenario I did. I had iPhone version 2.2 jailbroken on my iPhone. When I updated my iPhone through iTunes and then I re-jailbroke it, all of my Cydia applications that I bought were not there. I had to go into Cydia and reinstall them. Um, I believe some data is left behind because when I reinstalled Winterboard, it kept some of my preferences um, a few times. I don't think it did the last time. But uh, depending on how you restore your iPhone, some settings are not there. So if you do buy applications through Cydia, because I know there's jailbroken apps you can buy, you're going to have to reinstall or re-download those applications. I'm not sure about their policies. I've never bought anything from Cydia. But generally, you do have to reinstall applications from your jailbroken iPhone if you update or upgrade or re-jailbreak is just the way it is now all the applications that I use on my iPhone from jailbreaking are free so it's just it just becomes a, a, min a minute task of doing it so I hope this answers your question regarding jailbreaking and the iPhone and updating this is Born from Born TV, and uh, don't worry about your apps if you bought from iTunes App Store they'll be fine but Jailbreaking iPhones, you do have to reinstall. Take care.